welcome to Plumpton College. My name is Kate Filler, I'm the yard manager, and this is Westy, one of our college horses. Today we're going to do a short video on how to lunge. To start off with, we'll discuss the basic equipment that is needed for lunging. I've got a cabison that's fitted quite snugly onto Westy, in which I can clip my lunge line onto. All these can be bought from your local tack shop. I've then also fitted um, a snaffle bit with a basic bridle in which to attach my scalding aids onto later on. I've also got a scalding whip which enables me to control the horse whilst I'm lunging. Now the reasons for lunging, there's lots of reasons. Uh, firstly it exercises the horses, particularly if you're running out of time, um, you need to get the horses exercised. It's a great way to let um, the horses burn off some steam, to get them out on the lunge, um, to have a good walk, trot and canter. You might want to lunge your horses before you ride them, particularly if you had a fresh horse or maybe a young horse. It's always a good idea to, to let them have fun on the lunge before you get on them. Lunging also helps the horse with um, suppleness, with balance, which basically increases the horse's um, basic schooling. It's a good chance to also see the horse whilst you're on the floor. Sometimes when we're riding our horses all the time, it's a good chance to take a step back and to view our horses and see how they're working. You could also test to see if they're sound. Um, maybe if you, your saddle uh, didn't fit or your saddle was being repaired, it's also a good way of exercising the horses without actually having to ride them. The horses also get used to your voice aids, which of course will help when you're riding. So if you're going to lunge, it's always good to lunge in a safe environment. We're very lucky here, we've got an indoor school, but I'd make sure that the ground condition was good, that the gate was shut. Um, there's no reason why you can't lunge out in a field, but obviously make sure that you do have a safe environment, that the other horses are away, um, and that any gates are shut properly. So now I'm going to show you how to fit and use a chambon for lunging. The chambon can only be used for lunging, you can't ride with the chambon. The chambon works on a pressure release system. As you can see I've got a roller on the horse with padding underneath. The chambon then fits through the horse's leg and attaches round the roller just like a, a martingale would. It then comes up and you have a headpiece that attaches to the actual bridle of the horse. A little pulley system here and it comes down and clips onto the horse's bit. So it works on a pressure and release system. The horse raises his head, pressure on the pole, therefore encouraging the horse to relax and go into a longer, lower outline. West is now working on the lunge circle. And as you can see, he's already starting to stretch with his top line and work a bit longer and lower. The chambon is a very useful schooling aid. Your horse is in rehabilitation from an injury very good for stretching the top muscles, particularly the muscles around the saddle area. Always remember to warm your horse up with the chambon detached. Encourage the horse to go forwards before you put on the schooling aid. And it's always better to have it a little longer to start off with, particularly if your horse isn't used to wearing it. As you can see, West is quite happy and he's Really walking out well now, and really stretching with that neck, head low. You can really see that the back muscles are coming up and stretching. So we're encouraged to go forward with the cross. Good boy, Good boy. Good boy. Good. Making sure your horse is done a nice big circle with this schooling aid. Working too much on their 
stretch down, low, long and low. I hope you've enjoyed watching your short video with how to lunge with a shambon.